Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the main menu because I like to start the second session of any given Let's Play by showing you guys exactly what happens when I load the game. Since, you know, until you've done it once, you can never be sure, though I think I might have a pretty good idea of how it'll go this time. <laughs> Let me just... Audio always calms down when I go into the settings menu for some reason. Before we load, though, there is one thing I wanted to finally address, since I'd been biting my tongue this whole time with more important things to talk about. And now it is finally time for me to bring to the attention of Justin Jones that this main menu, and in fact, uh, all of the menus I have seen in this game, uh, well, they appear to be being displayed on the LCD screen of a Palm Pilot. <laughs> Talk about dating your game. I mean, there's even, like, uh, a plastic shell around the edges of the screen, and I shit you not, Justin, there is a Palm logo at the top center. <laughs> this is straight-up product placement. <laughs> and that's very funny to me, because I don't think that company's even existed for, like, 15 years. <laughs> oh dear. I guess this must be the PDA uh, Sam has uh, strapped to the inside of his arm. And now that I have acknowledged that, shout out to F. Drake, who says, Wowee! I just realized that's a Palm handheld device that Sam is rocking. Talk about product placement. Burning Dog Face and Burning Dog fans, do you have any novel experiences of that ancestor of our modern, smart of our modern smartphones? And, you know, I don't really uh, have much on that. I mean, I knew it was a thing back in the day, but, like, I was in high school in 2002, man. I was not of the age to have my own PDA. And that was before everyone even had their own phones at the, all the time. <laughs> uh. Honestly, I'm not sure which is more early 2000s. Uh, the Palm Pilot thing, or the... <laughs> the 2002 ass intro video we watched last time. Let's see, load Sam's profile. Uh, getting things done. Yes, 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 good. Well, getting things do, but you know what I mean. Okay, why was the mouse doing that? Live demo, folks. I have no idea why the entire screen started spinning right there. Shoutout to Justin Jones, who leaves a comment saying, uh, Hi there, BDF. Thanks for the shoutout. Goddamn, did this game really come out 20-plus years ago? I feel so old right now, and I know the feeling. E. I watched a speed run of this game back in the day, but what made it so remarkable was that the guy didn't kill anyone. I also remember that they made a GBA version of this game. It was a 2D side-scrolling perspective, but the stealth elements were present, along with all the little lockpicking and manipulation minigames. Back when I had enough eyesight to play games, I did play that version for a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right smack dab in the middle of the era where uh, a lot of games would get a uh, portable version made in addition to the regular one. Uh... You know, I... I had a friend of mine, oops, who had this game back in the day, loan me the uh, the case for uh, the GameCube version of Splinter Cell. I've got it right here. Experience the best in Nintendo GameCube graphics. A world of cinematic proportions. Yes, but um, I mention that because one of the things in the back here says, New features, including exclusive new gadgets activated thanks to the Nintendo GameCube Game Boy Advance cable. We're not going to be doing that, um, <laughs> obviously. And uh, I just find that very interesting. You are Sam Fisher. You have the right to steal, spy, destroy, and assassinate to ensure that American freedoms are protected. If captured, the U.S. government will disavow any knowledge of your existence. You are a splinter cell. Admittedly, that's pretty cool. Man, I kind of miss when video game boxes actually had information on the back of them. <laughs> uh, I'm all tangled up in cables now that I got up. That was a mistake. Uh, but there was more to that comment. Uh, I'm just trying to imagine how much athleticism would be required to do all of the things that Sam does. More importantly, I'm wondering how this guy can still do all this at his age. My girlfriend used to do a lot of dance in high school, and it takes a serious toll on the body, especially now that she's in her late 30s. 
Yeah, I would imagine that now that you mention it. Like, he's not old, old, but he's definitely got gray. What's the word? Grizzled, I think, is the right phrase. Anyway, I'm just standing here, so I'm just gonna have Sam check his email real quick. And then we'll head out. Actually, can I open this, or...? No. No, there's no interact there. This is just a stash for those things I found, I guess. Like, the health kits and the information. No! Oh, that's why there's a light meter, because when the uh, goggles are on, everything looks fully lit. But I'm doing pretty well in terms of darkness here. Shh. Time for sleep. Let's leave this guy in here. I have no idea how Sam just turned on his goggles. Actually, we can just rotate the camera around to find out. Oh, I like that! There is actually an animation for that. He, like, whips his head in one direction or the other to push them up or down. Huh. That's very clever. Let's leave him over here with a moth shadow so he thinks he's been abducted by a serial killer or something. I can't take his gun or anything. No, Sam. Being unseen isn't always the answer. Maybe the solution is to steal that man's clothes and just walk in the fucking front door. The real question is, how did I get here and where am I going? Did I come in through that big gate? I think so. Well, I guess I didn't come in through over there. Yeah, this isn't open. Hesitant to run because the people in this game seem to have insanely good hearing. Also, I did—I must say—I was disappointed when I like threw a, a can to get someone's oh, uh, attention. What's that? Well, that's a guy. I don't know if that's a bad guy or not. I'll just chill out here to the music. In fact... Shout out to Duffelfish, who says, Ah, another classic... Or another awesome classic game. Nice. Best part is being able to knock people out with sticky cams and other such items. <laughs> Too much coffee. Oh, he did come outside. Guess that. Oh, no, that's not the guy. That's I'm just looking at the like papers waving on that poster board thing over there. Shout out to a user whose name was written in Cyrillic who just says, hell yes. Oh yes, and shout out to Yornik who says, the capital is called Tbilisi and is actually a lovely city. Also, the surname of the prez is Nikoladze. He's like written it out in sounds, not in letters. Uh, you were right the first time he said it. And the snitch's surname is pronounced Gurganidze. Thank you for that. Also, also, Georgia is a wonderful country, well worth a visit. Beautiful countryside, amazing cuisine, and fantastic wine. Friendly people, loads of history, and places to see. Me and my better half vacationed there some time ago and freaking loved it. Also, also, uh, daughter is an Icelandic thing. They don't use surnames, preferring the use of patronomics instead. I did not know that. She looked like she could be Icelandic, tall and blonde and all that. Okay, being more careful. Being, sorry, being even more careful, let's say. Uh, there's a door over there. Let's check that. You know what? We'll take the darker path. That's because I know there's a guy by a window up. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, fuck. The guy's still by the damn window. Is he going to do anything about it? We've got the provision of the oh, fuck! Huh. <laughs> Ah. 
See, I thought the, the mission was going to fail anyway, so... I just kind of stood there, and then another guy ran up from behind me, and, uh... Well, kind of stood there for ten seconds while he unloaded his gun into me. That was a really bad decision on his part, by the way. If I had done literally anything, he would have been screwed. For clarity's sake, what I meant there wasn't that the bad idea was, you know, shooting the intruder. It was the part where he walked right up to me and touched his pistol to my chest before he started shooting. Since I can think of about 15 different ways a spy thriller protagonist could uh, turn that situation around if he was actually trying. <laughs> All right, so I actually did cut a bunch of stuff out right there because we got problems. Obviously, there's this guy patrolling, but I waited a bunch of time while reading comments. Now, there's a, a civilian up in the window, so I can't deal with him. Uh, there's this guard here patrolling. And he was only right in the perfect position with a civilian not looking out the window because I waited a random amount of time while reading comments. Oh, and check this shit out. Well, he didn't hear it this time. Too much coffee. I'm getting jittery. Did that Don't kill me! Where are you? Oh, why did you say that if you knew I was here? I was imagining things. I heard fucking can't get close enough to him because I can't move fast enough. Oh, well, that's form. not gonna help. How do I go one bar faster? No, no, you can hear that too. This is all just trial and error. That's what this is. Too much coffee. This is not acceptable. there. Tell you what. Hey, they don't like that shit. They hate that. Just staring stupidly at the light. Oh my god! God damn it. Well, he is a civilian. So, what we're gonna do? So, what we're gonna do? Or... We've got a civilian report of a heavily armed man. Doesn't sound like one of our associates. Terkezi, I want you and your men to check it out. F5. Okay, we have a fucking foothold, folks. Load. Oops, I did not mean to pick him up. In fact, fuck that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the music stopped. Like, I forgot he was alerted. Well, we'll see if more dudes come by. In fact... Who is that? Fucking... What the hell? Oh, there are guys here now. I'm gonna slip back into the uh, the corner here. So, how's it going? 
I don't think they're going to come in here. I don't think they can crouch. But, uh, we'll just chill. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, With how the flags and projector screen in that meeting room are bouncing around, the AC must be going berserk. And I had that same thought, you know, when we first met Lambert and uh, Sam. And, uh, although I was thinking maybe the side of the room they steadfastly refused to show us for some reason was, uh, maybe it had an open window. <laughs> yes, and, uh, Derek likes to leave comments uh, elaborating on the details of the firearms video games give me. Maybe this is a bad lighting situation for this. We'll just go over here into the light. Or maybe not. Ah, that's the trick facing the other way. Yes. <laughs> Sam only gets to use two guns in his first appearance, so I'm only going to read the one I have right now. His sidearm is the Fabrique Nationale 57, chambered for the 5.7 by 28 mm cartridge that FN also used in its P90 submachine gun. The 5.7 by 28 mm was on the list to replace the 9 by 19 mm as NATO's standard pistol round in 2003, but hasn't been officially adopted as such. I wonder if the idea here was that they were trying to get ahead of the game. It's 2002. What will they be using as standard by 2004, you know? Uh, FN only sold it to military and law enforcement until 2004, when the IOM model went on sale in the civilian market. Good thing Sam has a suppressor on his, otherwise that shot is loud and the muzzle flash is huge. Interesting. And you know, the idea that we only get two guns in this game does make me look at it slightly differently. Or it's not like an action. It's not like a shooter. It's not an action game. It's uh, it's like it's a puzzle game, and the gun is just one of the tools we have to uh, make use of. Although you know, as we've seen by the way I play these games, the solution is usually use gun on man. If we're gonna keep talking about it like a puzzle game, just wait for this asshole to walk away from his window. Nice night. Kind of overcast, but you know. Is he really just staring out into this dark... Uh, uh, I mean, okay, it's weird that the lights are out. And did, did I really see a man carrying a body? I feel like if I thought I saw a man carrying a body, I'd be less likely to keep staring out the window, not more. So what if I, if it's dark. If I just sneak out here... Sick. So far, so good. I did find myself uh, editing that section there because, well, lit I accomplished literally nothing and had just kind of faffed around for a bit, uh, trying over and over again. Ooh, another goddamn civvy. Hmm. Okay. Off the damn wall, Sam. Who, Hello? Who the hell? Who's there? Oh fuck, there's a dude right there. Oh! Yes, keep facing that way, it'll be great. Yes, 
It's a very opposite mentality to Alan Wake, given that the Dark is our friend here. <laughs> Ugh, this dude's heavy. Nice jacket, though. <laughs> oh, he's levitating. Sure. We all know how that's going to go, right? He's going to wake up and immediately fall to the ground like fucking Wile E. Coyote. Walking off a cliff. What is that? That button. Let's do something stupid. Oh, right. The button is labeled, but I can't read the label. Hmm. Shame, I can't even interact with it. Okay, back this way. Hey, some word of advice? Wear rubber-soled shoes next time, Sammy. Get into the police precinct. Yeah, that is very annoying. Wait, is this the way we came from? Fuck, it might be. Well, I'll be damned. It is. And that, in fact, uh... Oh, no, wait, I did just do that right. I thought I was gonna load it. So that side with the button is where we're going. That's why I didn't see the button before. I just assumed I didn't see it because I was kind of in a hurry. Can every time I see interact object come up, I'm like, <gasps> oh. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been much Who of a mistake, that? except that uh. That's strange. Wait. Okay, that guy's, uh, that asshole's apartment does not have a window facing in this direction. Oh, I hate that. I hate that a lot. It's a very bright light source, and it's got bars in front of it, so I'm pretty sure I can't shoot it. I'll just squat here and not be seen. Might help if you had, like, a trench coat you could stash somewhere. Wrap yourself in... I think it would stand out more with his knees sticking out like that and flat against the wall, but apparently not. Oh, I hate this corridor. Corridor hall, uh, alley, anyway. Oh, here's so many goddamn footsteps. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, it can be broken. Oh, 
I'm not Vox. Oh. Oh yeah, I do need to reload there. Good. Good. Just making sure. Thought it was one of those things where once I put it away I didn't need to. It might be a bad idea for me to knock a civilian out. Like, I did load after killing that guy, but... Can't imagine Irving would be happy about that. Alright, F5. Honestly, if it's this dark, I could probably walk right past Sam and not realize what he's wearing isn't that uh, normal. We have to tell a guard then. Where the hell was he? Was he standing in there against the wall? What? Something moved. Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. Tell you what. I am not involved. Oh. That's very strange. Don't love that. He is still right there. Alrighty. Don't you do it. How is it this dark in this corner? How did that happen? Well, you see, when a light and a bullet love each other very much... What? Another guy. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I admit that. That one is entirely on me. Tell you what... I am not involved! <laughs> Don't shoot! You are a problem. Hello? Who's there? I'm... And let's leave him right next to these bottles. But in the dark. Let's go ahead and stage this. Right in front of the door. Right here next to his hand, and I crouch and I drop it. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I tried to take a screenshot, but I forgot that uh, that's control three with this uh, uh, recording program, and every time I hit control, this happens. So I've had to actually had to shave that off the beginning and end of every video so far. at the other window. On the plus side, nobody cared when I knocked that civilian the fuck out because he's still alive and he's going to wake up again. Oh boy. Progress is hard earned in this game. But, you know, the with the quick saving, I'm sure I can get through it. I don't know there can be a guy up fucking there. Wait, can I go? No, there's a fence in the way. I think I saw something. I think he didn't. Holy fuck, is everyone in this city totally paranoid or something? I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell, when Sam continues making his way down this alley, and we try to get all the way to the other end. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later.